Hello everyone, uh, I've got two roulette battles here for you against Teapot, um, other known as you caption. He's a really cool dude, he's from Scotland, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, lead off with my bass is way better than sharp, because sea bass is actually a really nice fish. You know, I hate this thing, it's really grumpy, but anything is better than sharpedo. I hate sharpedo, I hate sharpedo, uh, it's the worst Pokemon invented. Uh, I got a pretty shit take, to be honest. Um, I can go into heat more, take a leaf blade, pretty well. Just gonna go for the home claws on the switch, but due to being a crap Pokemon, I'm gonna have to switch out. And of course I can suck a punch because it's not a ghost type anymore because this gen is kinda dumb like that. Um, anyway, I go to my special defensive Mesbert, right? You know, it's gonna be taking a lot of damage from that Thunderbolt. Um, I, I realized then it was specs. My, there's no way that should have done that much, but whatever. I'm able to uh, paralyze it and get at the stealth rocks, which is grand. That's right. So go into Gallade, bulk up because oh, God, I can easily take a thunder thunderbolt. You know, I didn't actually think it was specs until now. I'm like, oh, maybe it is specs because I did quite a lot. I'm gonna go for the drain punch. Plus one drain punch. I thought it would kill. Doesn't quite. Um, he isn't going to be able to kill me with a Thunderbolt, however, I'm going to be quite low. Well, not that low, but, um, yeah, probably about 100. Which, you know, he'll be able to, um, revenge kill me with his own freaking Ditto. Seriously, I, I'm, Ditto is so broken, I don't, is it broken? Is it even not allowed? I don't even know. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's really annoying, because you can just use your other sets against you, it's really horrible. Uh, <laughs> So I go for the water uh, waterfall even. No, uh, it doesn't do anything, of course, because well, this Pokemon is really bad. Um, go into Cobillion, whatever. I love this Pokemon anyway, even though I can't pronounce its name. Go for the Carmine because he picked me. Oh, it's complete rubbish. Here. I'm trying this um, Carmine Cobillion. It's not very good because basically you got to hit Focus Blast, and Focus Blast doesn't usually hit <laughs> really. So I do hit this, this one here, it does quite a lot, uh, he does miss the sleep powder, um, I do have the Lumberry, um, but I think he, oh no, we, we, it's a double miss there, um, go for a focus pass and miss again and then he hits the sleep powder, um, it would have been nice if I would, you know, if I killed the Blossom at, well then, because then I could have saved my, um, Chester Berry. Was it? No, Lumber, sorry. And gone for the rest, but it actually hit, it didn't matter in the slice, because he's going to go into this boat and earthquake me, and he is banded. <coughs> sorry. Because um, since it's a roulette, I picked him, I think it was like a couple of banded, a couple of scarf, like all his Pokemon are choice in some way. Going to bounce better than Sharp, because it's so much it really is. I have the Focus Sash, so, you know, I'm going to obviously be able to deliver it and kill it off. The Arche Archaeops is a really good Pokemon. It's kind of underestimated just because it's useless ability. Believe it or but whatever. Um, I go into Shackle, uh, or Shakakul, as I like to call it, and I just go for the Power Spin because this um, basically I want to um, weaken this thing so it doesn't do so much damage. Um, I go for the Toxic just for you know, damage. Um, and I really thought I'd be able to survive a waterfall, but he gets a crit, and I do think that mattered because I would have risked, but I mean, no, I don't really care. It's just a fun roulette. I'm not going to complain whatsoever. Uh, go for the Sucker Punch. I really was hoping that would KO because I think this is my last Pokemon. Is it? Is it my last? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the first battle. Um, as you can see, my team was pretty... Eh, shit. And his team was more well balanced, but um, he did get a few scarf Pokemon, and um, a lot of choice Pokemon. I think, yeah, Specs, Scarf, and I think he said his uh, Mammoth was banned. I can't remember. I had this battle a while ago. Anyway, we shall go on to the next battle. Um, he chose me a very quite a good team. Well, I wouldn't put. I would never ever even think of putting these Pokemon together in an actual team, but whatever, it uh, seemed to be better. Anyway, so I just go for Ice Beam straight off the bat because it's four times super effective, um, but he protects and then goes into Crawdon. Ice Beam does absolutely nothing. Um, 
So obviously I'm going to switch here, I'm going to go into a Rotom, because Rotom is awesome, and it's a fridge, and it's the cool one. It's the only cool Rotom. I don't like any of the others. I don't like any of the others, just saying. I like normal form, but apart from that, I don't like them. So anyway, I thought he might go for the Toxic, but he has the Yawn, so I was wrong, so I go back into Rotom. And he switches into Angry Bat, his Crobat. So obviously he doesn't want to take a Thunderbolt or a Blizzard, so he switches into Ralph, who we I actually go for the will o -Wisp because it would have been nice to get a will o -Wisp on pretty much anything, to be honest. Go for the Hex, don't know why I even bothered, because he's just going to yawn, and then recover, so yeah. <laughs> so I switch, I switch into a Maldo because, you know, I thought it would be a good time to set up Stealth Rocks. Um, wow. And stealth Rocks is always good in in uh, the game. I mean, I only have this Armado uh, to have set up rocks and spin them away. It, it does literally nothing else. It might knock off my Earthquake. <laughs> I don't really think it has time to. It's, uh, you know, whatever. So, he actually has a Scold, which, uh, well, burns me, so I can't... You know, Armado's pretty useless anyway, that's fine. Knock off his leftover so burn will help even more. Just go for the pointless earthquake as he goes for the recover. There we are. Obviously, I'm going to die to burn now, so yeah. Alright, so I go into my Sigilif because I can hit it very hard with a psychic, but I actually missed the air slash, and that like rarely ever happens. I'm like, oh, for goodness sake. Now I have to switch again. Uh, he goes for the scold. It's not going to do any damage, luckily I don't get the burn, because burn is annoying. Go for the blizzard. Thought it might KO, although I was kind of doubtful, but the burn, thankfully, will take it out. So he goes into cut, cut, cut. That's a great name. I thought maybe I'll be able to live this, but turns out he's got another Spex Rotom, and that's why I couldn't take it. But I've got an Amstel, which I hate. I don't even know why I have it. But um, Rotom is a grass type in this gen, so Mega Horn will obviously KO it. I still think it should be Ghost type. It's so dumb. Whatever. Anyway, going to Gullick, who will be easily be able to take an, a Brave Bird because your well, Gullick is actually a really good Pokemon. I don't really see it much in gameplay. I don't know. It's, it's really good. I, I quite like it. It's a great Ghost type. There's so many great Ghost types now. Um, I don't like any of them, to be honest. <laughs> don't even like this guy, I don't even know why I'm using it. But whatever. Um, so it goes into Hydreigon, this thing. As I go into my logic, because I know I can take any special move, um, which I'm pretty sure he's going to go for the Surf. Because I'm pretty sure that I, you know, they usually carry that sort of thing. So he goes into Dark Kravy as I go for the Ice Beam. It's not going to do anything, however, he's over, um, he's past half health, so he's got under half health basically, and I have the Brine, um, and this is why I have the Brine, because Brine is 130 base power when, um, when the HP is below half, and this Milotic is on a team with heaps of spikes and stealth rocks, so it's actually quite effective, I really like it. Anyway, I'm such a prick, I go for Miracote when I'm like, oh yeah, derp, it's a psychic type, and I'm like, I knew it was a dark type too, but I just thought, eh, you know, Miracote was just like a normal move or something, I'm like, oh my god, I'm such a prick. Anyway, however, I do live on 7, and I am able to recover, so it's all fine, it's all fine, it's all good, it's fine. Good. Okay, so he goes into George, who actually takes an ice beam, I'm like, holy, holy, holy mackerel. Um, and this harvest ability is pretty, pretty broken. Well, it's not broken. I say everything's broken. It's broken. It's not broken. It's not like a toy or a matchbox. It's not broken. It's just there. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I actually uh, came up from that range, which I was kind of surprised about. Anyway, this time I'm not going to be so dumb, and I'm actually going to uh, came up with an ice beam or two. I can't remember. Probably two. Um, yeah, two. I actually get the freeze, just take the first. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Um, that was a great battle. I really recommend you subscribe to this guy because he's cool. He has started uploading again, thank God, because he was away for so long. I was like, oh, sorry. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye-bye.